Hello there everybody. This is my first YouTube video and this will be a tutorial series. I will be showing you guys how to create a to-do list app using the Flask framework. Flask is a web framework in Python that is used to create websites and web apps. We will be using a SQLite 3 database, Flask, HTML, and the Python language. So first of all, you will need to create a folder in your desktop. I created a folder in my desktop called Python Tutorial. Now I'm using VS Code as my code editor for this tutorial series. Before we start, here are a few things I would like to say. If you want to follow along with these tutorials, I would recommend knowing the Python language a little bit. I'd recommend you to have a good understanding of the basics in order to actually grasp the things I'll explain. Um, otherwise, it'll, it may be a bit tricky to follow along. We will need to have a few things installed on our computer. We need to have Python installed. I recommend having Python 3.6 or higher. I'm currently using Python 3.9. Next, we will need to install the Flask framework, which I will explain in a bit. We need a code editor of some sort. Like I said earlier, I'm using VS Code. If you're using anything else such as Sublime, Atom, Vim, Notepad++, or anything else, you can still follow along fine, but if you are a complete beginner, I would recommend using VS Code over other editors because it'll be easier to follow along and it has a handful of great features. So let's start. First, to open our terminal in VS Code, if you're on Mac, use Command J to open the terminal. If you are using Windows or have Linux installed on your Windows machine, use Control J. Again, this is for VS Code. For other editors, the shortcut may be different. Then you'll have to install the Flask framework using pip. To install Flask, we will do this pip3 install flask if you're on Mac or Linux and pip install flask if you're on Windows. Now that we have our flask web framework installed on our machine, we will need to create a file to write our code in. Again, I'm using VS Code. The file creation process on other editors may be different. So first, go near the top left where it has our directory. In this case, mine says Python tutorial. Right next to it is a create file icon. Click on it. Name the file whatever you'd like, but for my case, I'll be naming it app.py. This is the file we will be writing our code in. Once you finish that, you want to navigate to that same area again, except, we, except this time we're going to be making two folders called templates and static. The templates directory is where we will be putting our HTML code in, and the static folder is where we will put our CSS in. To create these folders, there is a create folder icon on the right side of the create file icon. Click on it and make one folder called templates. Then repeat that, except the folder's name will be static. Once we've created our files and folders that we will need, open up the app.py file and follow along. On the first line, write from flask import flask render template redirect and URL4. This will import the flask package and a few other things that we will need later on. Next, go on to the next line and type app is equal to flask set of parentheses, double underscore name and double underscore. This will create the Flask instance. Next, go on to the next line and type if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to uh, quotation and then underscore underscore main underscore underscore app dot run debug is equal to true. This will run our app in debug mode. When deploying our app in production, you won't have to put debug is equal to true, but since we are developing this app right now, we have to put debug is equal to true since this is in development mode. Next, we will need to set up a web page so that we can run the server and then go to the link to see our app. To do this, we'll have to specify a route for our URL and render something on that URL. So we can put at app.route and then a set of parentheses, and then inside those parentheses put a single quote, double quote, doesn't matter, and then forward slash. This at 
app.route is a decorator to tell Flask what URL should trigger our function. Right below the URL, we can put define home, this home function, and then return hello from Flask. This is the function the URL will go to. Name this function whatever you'd like, but to make it easier to understand, I named it home. The return hello from Flask will return those words when we go to that route. Once we've written that, open your terminal right here and type python3app.py if you're on Mac, or Linux, and Python app.py if you're on Windows. Next, open up your, uh, well, actually save the file first, and then next, open up your browser right here and then go to 127.0.1 um, at port 5000 or go to localhost 5000 and these will uh, return the same things. Now you can see that hello from Flask is rendered onto the screen. In the next clip, I'll show you guys how to render HTML templates.